हेलो वेलकम बैक टू अवर फ्लटर फ्लो ट्यूटोरियल विद वो कॉमर्स सो लास्ट टाइम वी हैड लर्न हाउ टू एड आइटम्स टू द कार्ट एंड टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न लाइक हाउ टू अपडेट द क्वान्टिटी इन द कार्ट एंड गेट द टोटल नंबर ऑफ आइटम्स इन द कार्ट एंड सो ऑन सो लेट मी फर्स्ट शो यू द डेमो हाउ इट इज वर्किंग okay so i have eight items in the cart and three is the quantity four update quantity called this i have mentioned for like if everything is working fine or not let's see this one not found in cart so now it should be nine let's say we add three quantities add to cart Add quantity card, and this one is called as nine. Okay, so till here it's working fine. Now let's go to the code. So first of all, in the co card, we have to add a new API name, update item in the card. Version two card item item key. and variable again the quantity we have to pass and body is something like quantity and pass here we have selected json so quantity and from here we can drag and use the quantity and return card i had made false because i don't need card from it okay and clear card is to clear all the items in the card let me just clear it once so for clearing the cart we don't have the data in the cart now let's see quantity 0 not found in cart let me just run add to cart here one again for other product quantity 2 okay so now let me explain you the code how i i had done the coding first of all i have configured today uh, few functions like find the item in the cart so we will part, pass the product json and in that we will check if item id is already there then we will return the entire product if not return null get item key based on the product written in above function uh, we will get the item key okay else it will return null same goes with the quantity based on the first one we will get check the item id exist and we get the quantity value if it exist we will return the quantity else by default one so we will have by default one quantity again one more function like if the item is in cart or not for that to check if cart products are not there by default false if it's there return true if not false total cart items like this count for this the item list if it's null return zero else it will return the total number of items list and length okay i hope till here we are clear add to cart quantity is updated okay so now let me go to the product detail page okay so here i have configured the cart first of all when the page is loading on page load i am calling the cart here i am passing the token and output variable name is items in cart so here we will set the value if there are items in the cart we will set this counter as uh, the one so how to set let me show you this one uh, let me delete it entirely and show it again 
add action statement update app state cart count okay set value and for setting the value we, we will use the custom function total cart items so the list list is we are getting from the action outputs item in cart json body json part dollar dot items confirm okay and default it is zero confirm now again we are checking if this product is in the cart if it's in the cart then we are setting this counter value to that if it's not in cart then by default we are setting it to 1 here we are updating like same way mm, like this function again here page, page state and showing the snack bar like here item count I am inside the item count to know whether the product is already in the cart or not let me show it to you not found in cart okay not found in cart okay so this one is not found in cart let's see the three so this product is already added three times so it take the value from here and shown in the snack bar okay i hope clear till here we are clear now okay now again on the page here i have in the batch i have set the card count the value of the f state this one the counter this counter value okay on product page we are calling the backend api for product detail we are passing the product id from the front end and product detail from the main api we are calling so setting all these things from the main api like the name the sale price and all this stuff okay again this quantity let's see what we are doing it here mm, product page column name count controller okay so here in this i have created a page state page state item count so let me show you the app state here we have created card count for this one and on the page we have created a local variable for the page let me just check where i have created the page state one I'm not sure I'm not getting the page state but uh, I have set it from here itself okay here at the end item count for this particular page so every product we will load will have a different uh, Okay, so it will be this one like this quantity is one okay let me click on this one no, not found in cut so by default it's one let me add it five quantity okay let's see now we are getting the five quantity okay now on add to cut what we did 
here first i am setting uh, calling the function is the item is in the cart so for that i am passing the cart products and the product id and getting true or false uh, this function is item is in the cart if it's null return false if it's in the cart return true else return false i hope it's clear till here now if it's not in the uh, it's not in the cart already then we will call add to cart api where we have to pass id quantity and token as shown in the previous video okay and here we are updating the add state by incrementing the one value because it's not in the cart so we are just updating the app state okay and if it's true if it's in the cart then i am here update quantity function is called update item in cart in that we have to pass the item key so here we are getting the calling the custom function get item key quantity and token same as the add to cart if result is success we will show the snack bar item added to cart 2 if not update the quantity what's the error we are showing and then update the app state and rebuild the pages that's it okay i hope all of you like today's video so please like share and subscribe to my channel thank you